Hi YouTube, so today I am going to be teaching you how to do your eyebrows. This is just a quick video of how I personally fill in my eyebrows and if you want to take any tips and tricks that I tell you in this video away with you to do yours then please, please do. Um, just a wee quick notice that uh, I do my eyebrows myself, I pluck them myself, I fill them in myself, I do everything myself. What I do is I use these um, wee tweezers from Primark, they're the rose gold one, they come in like a pack of two but I like the ones with the slanted edge and then just these wee rose gold scissors so I brush them all up and cut along the top of them to get them nice and short and all the same length and just tweeze anything like underneath that isn't in my eyebrow shape. If you find it hard to um, tweeze your own eyebrows without losing, whew, without losing your own shape I advise you to fill them in first and anything that doesn't touch in, to, to, that doesn't touch the place that you've drawn then just pluck it away and that's kind of helps you avoid from taking away too much so yeah if you want to see how I do my eyebrows then please keep watching okay so today I'm going to be using my MAC fluid line brow gel cream in true brunette I've been absolutely loving this and I'm using the Anastasia number 12 brush I think the writing has came off it Excuse the mess of my the rest of my face. I have no foundation on, so my skin is awful at the minute. So I'm going to be holding up a mirror. So if I'm looking down, that's why. I obviously have this brow done and carved out. And now I'm just going to do this one on camera. So I'm just going to kind of brush through it. As you can see, a lot of my sparseness would be around here, not really in the middle. I have quite thick brows anyway. <coughs> So I'm going to really concentrate on the tail of my eyebrow compared to the rest. So I'm just getting a wee bit on my brush and I always, always start kind of here. And don't worry about it being messy because like literally you want to see the state of my brow sometimes and I just kind of drag it inwards to the front. I just literally do this bit so sloppily and then fix it all with concealer because that's the, the concealer is the bit that makes it sharp. So I'm going to add a wee bit more just to do the tail. So it's kind of drawn a straight line from there to there and then I'm going to just curve it off and bring it down like that. Again, don't worry about it not being even, about it being messy because we're going to fix it. For the top, I just kind of brush down the hairs a bit so I can see how sparse it really is and then just drag the rest of the product through the top and curve I always always make sure this is a really nice curve and again bring it down now you can see that looks nothing like this um, because I do tidy it up with concealer so for the front I just flick what product I have left up to kind of get rid of that line that we created at the bottom and to make it like a wee bit thicker. And then I fill in this part of my brow as well. Everybody like laughs when I do my brows because they're all like, oh my God, you do them so messy at the start. And it's like, well, yeah, why waste time when I'm going to be doing the concealer no matter what anyway? So why waste time sitting trying to get them absolutely perfect when I could just tidy it up after? So now I've done that, I then this is what I sculpt my brows out with. I use the Studio Finish Concealer Duo um, in NW20 and NC25. It's this wee duo here. Um, this is my own personal one for my clients. I have like a full range of MAC concealers to sculpt out the brows. But for me, I just know these colours work. So I take the more yellow tone one, which is the NC25. And I put this on a Soeva 322 brow line brush, which is this wee one here. People have loads of different favourites for this. Personally, this one works best for me. And I just get it. I always bring it in a wee bit past because I like to make sure that it's like a real straight line. And just bring it straight out into the corner. Again, I always do this bit first before... Um, I go down and finish the rest of it. I always make sure this bit's perfect first and then continue the brow. And again, I just drag all the product down to make sure it's blended. So 
So something like that for the start of it. Like that has already tidied it up so, so much. And then get a wee bit more onto the brush and do the tail. The tail's really important that we get this really nice and sharp. And again, I always bring it way, way past where the tail ends to make sure that it's the sharpest it can be. And kind of drag it all down. Because this concealer is going to blend in with your base anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And again, you can go over this a few times if you feel like you want to make it thinner. Or what I sometimes do if I've taken away too much and I feel like it's too thin, I then go back in with my... Um, MAC brow gel and fill in a wee bit more. So now I'm going to grab some more and do the top of this. So I then like bring my elbow up and point the, the brush down to get this. And again I bring it past the front of it. And please take your time with this, don't rush. like. The brows really, really frame the whole face and any eye look that you're doing. So just take your time when you're doing this. And then bring it down. And sculpt the outside of that too. And then I just get the brush and kind of blend any excess concealer out around the face. So then it helps to blend in with your foundation when you're doing it. I sometimes use a really, really light concealer underneath like almost white and um, depending on how strong of eye look that I'm doing that day if I'm doing like a really really dramatic eye look I will always use a white concealer underneath because it makes the brow bone highlights stand out and then just kind of blend the in the middle bit of this and as you can see well I don't know if you can see but I can certainly see uh, up here I can see that I have taken a wee gap too much so I'm just getting my brow brush I'm blending that out like that. I just think if you take the next few seconds and go through it all, you'll be much happier with them and basically do that. I then get the spoolie and just brush everything out. Just to make sure they're all setting perfect. Depending on what product I use in my brows, I then either get a clear mascara or clear brow gel. Um, and brush them through my brows but I know that the MAC um, brow cream stays in place all day long so I do not need to do anything. It kind of actually dries a wee bit hard which means that your brows will not move at all. Um, the thing with the MAC one is um, compared to a lot is that it's really 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 mega coverage straight away which is good and I find that it's really creamy so a, a, a little goes a long way as you can see I dipped my brush in like two times there and it was the tiniest amount of product each time I think this camera is making my skin look really really yellow and pretty awful so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my makeup and come back and let you see my brows with um, my complete face okay so this is the rest of my makeup for today I'm obviously going to get changed out of this hoodie and stuff but um, this is what my eyebrows look like with all of my makeup on I do my eyebrows, eyebrows like this every single day no matter what um, and they always get compliments because they are quite strong eyebrows, they're quite dark for my hair colour and stuff. So if you enjoyed this video of how I do my eyebrows and any tips and tricks that um you like that you learned in this or any tips and tricks that you want to tell me, please comment down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!